38 knockouts from Fort Smith, Arkansas, the fighting hillbilly, Bobby Crabtree. Crabtree. His opponent, wearing the all-black trunks, weighing 224 pounds, pro record, 36 wins, 7 defeats, 27 knockouts, now living in Miramar, Florida, the former WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Trevor Burbank! Burbank! 10 round heavyweight. Trevor Burbank in the black trunks tonight, former WBC heavyweight champ. The tail of the tape looks like this. Bobby Crabtree a little bit taller. Trevor Burbick, the edge in weight, comes in at 224, pretty much in shape. 37 years old, Trevor Burbick, to Bobby Crabtree's 31. The age could be a factor tonight. The reach all but even. And Dr. Pacheco, as we get set for the opening round of this fight scheduled for 10, you won't find either of these guys on the cover of the Boxing Fundamentals textbook. No, it, let's see how much violence they get into immediately. Burbick has said he wants a quick knockout here. He wants to look good, wants to impress. Trevor Burbick, known for having a hard chin and an awkward style. We saw a graphic assessment of the tough road he's been on. And look at Bobby Crabtree opening up. He might as well open up fast. That's the only chance he's got. Got to start fast, and he's got to go to the body. Burbick turns him right around, lands a couple of impressive blows himself, goes with a wild overhand as Bernie Soto breaks him up. Burbick punching during the clinch. Knockout ratio about the same for both fighters. Burbick with 61%, Crabtree 63. The differential there is Crabtree's been knocked out in most of those losses he's had. And that little bit of pushing that just went on is Burbick saying, listen, I'm much stronger than you, so don't even think about trying to push me around. He pushed him all the way across the ring, and Bernie Soto had to warn Crabtree, I mean, had to warn Trevor Burbick, no more of that. Kind of unusual to see a southpaw in the heavyweight ranks, too, for he as Crabtree comes in as a port sider. Well, Crabtree already got shaken by that right hand of Trevor Burbick. Burbick ready and willing to stay there and let him punch himself out because he's hitting nothing. Come on, let's go. Trevor Burbick knows that Bobby Crabtree, not a guy that's used to going the distance. Most of his fights end before the fourth round is complete. He's showing a little bit of patience here as Crabtree comes after him, throwing heavy shots. <laughs> Burbick had enough time to give the referee Bernie Soto a dirty look for having uh, broken him up and had a word with him. A whole lot of fancy footwork in this one as Crabtree coming right up the middle. Looks like he's trying to hit the one-three pocket in bowling and Burbick just sizing him up right now. Burbick is just getting ready to throw those haymakers and right for right now Crabtree is moving out. <laughs> leading on Burbick against the ropes. Those shots not getting through as Trevor Burbick looks like a football player leading the play, just blocking with both arms and nothing Crabtree is throwing through the latter stages of this round, landing and doing any damage to Burbick. Absolutely no footwork on either, either side. Burbick content to even, his feet are not even in punching position. I mean, they're parallel to each other, so he doesn't get real power. He looks like he's walking in molasses is what he looks like. <laughs> Storyline pretty true to form so far. Trevor Burbick, good right hand gets in to the face of Crabtree, and he backs him up against the ropes. As we come to the close of round one, and Crabtree virtually defenseless. Burbick chopping away. Crabtree's going to go down, and he's on the canvas. Bobby Crabtree could not stand up to that assault as Trevor Burbick opened up and landed some tough shots from both sides. The clock should save him here, and uh, it does. Screen more. Back to Crabtree's corner and listen huh? in. You win every second of the round until you go to the ropes. Hmm? You win every second of the round until you go to the ropes. Stay off the ropes. You gotta box this guy. Let him be throwing him right. How you feel? Right here. Right here. You win this one, you win the round easy. Yeah, you know, so you go through. You gotta box this guy. How do you feel, Bob? You feel right? I'm no good. Okay, you gotta box it in, Bob. Hey, I'm not gonna go to the party, man. Okay, you gotta go around behind the arm. Don't stand in front of him, okay? You stand right in front of him. getting too close to smothering your own punches, okay? All right, let's take a look at that battering now. You can see 
Burbick can just tee off. Now, any good fighter would take Burbick's head off when he's starting way back there. But this guy, Crabtree, is just trying to survive. And Burbick is trying to finish in big fashion. Those are all big, heavy punches. On to round two. Burbick, for once, jumps across the ring. Whoa! <laughs> and, and that's that the kind the of punch that dislocates your shoulder. This is round two. We're scheduled for ten. Doesn't look like it's going to go that far as Burbick knocked down Bobby Crabtree at the close of round one. And he used that left arm very effectively to spin Crabtree away as he wound up and threw haymakers. It came down from the skies. Crabtree advised in his corner to try and box this guy and maybe stay on the ropes, but that is a thunderous right hand. And as long as he doesn't move, it will mean he will go down that way. There will be a cave-in on the ropes. Trevor Burbick throwing nothing but heavy shots as he has Bobby Crabtree in a shell. It looks like he's soon going to have him on the canvas. The greater percentage of these are landing and doing damage. Soto taking a look. I mean, he hates to stop it this early, especially if Crabtree fights back. Now, Crabtree's got to get away from there, fight back, and get away from those ropes. Most of those punches landed on the top of his head, but that really rattles your cage. Not a lot of jabbing and fancy footwork in this one, Dr. Pacheco, as Trevor Burbick pretty much has Bobby Crabtree measured and knows he can take him out with those big shots. Well, the problem will come with Crabtree, if he, I mean, with uh, Burbick, if he blows everything here, then he'll, you'll see a sloppy round from Trevor Burbick. And we saw in the opening that Bobby Crabtree, not a guy that gives out easily, and he's giving it everything he has. As we're midway through the second round, a little blood coming from the nose of Bobby Crabtree. Oh, he's trying. He's, la well, he's landing some shots, but every once in a while, Burbick just puts in the old equalizer. This epitomizes the title of these bouts. This is a brawl. Both guys saving nothing for the later rounds. They're opening it up with big shots here. Well, this is what Burbick's got to prove, is he got this kind of aggression and hostility and evil intention. He's proving it right here. And unfortunately, Crabtree is a recipient of all that hostility. Which has sapped any strength that Crabtree had out of his legs with those shots. He tries to come underneath now with the uppercut, and Burbick's starting to feel it. Ducks all of those punches and makes Crabtree look sloppy as we're coming near the close of round two. We're scheduled for 10. These are heavyweights. The former champion of the world, Trevor Burbick, in action. Catches a shot from Crabtree, who battles back now. He let Crabtree landed a good shot, a good right hand, and it stunned Trevor Burbick. I mean, it stunned Trevor Burbick. Seesaw battle in round two. Burbick controlling much of it, but Crabtree, a gutty performer, comes back with a couple of big arms of his own. You gotta remember, Crabtree is a black belt karate, and also, he is known to hang in there a long time, and he's, he's hung in here through two rounds of big this guy you're letting him get you on the ropes you gotta box this guy pull it down tight huh? we're trying to wing with him tight give me a deep breath through your nose and out your mouth come on in your nose and out your mouth in your nose and out your mouth you gotta box this guy damn it box him this round box him box him we're letting him get you on the ropes box this guy what's the middle one what's the middle one what did i tell you down and up down and up down and up down and up Good round of boxing. We're going to see Bobby Crabtree, ooh, right up the middle with the left hand. He set it up with the right as Trevor Burbick tried to play possum and set up his next shot on the ropes. And Bobby Crabtree put himself back in this fight with that one punch. Uh, he lost a round, but boy, he made an impression on, on Burbick. Oh, <laughs> permanent impression. He ain't, go, he ain't out of here yet. You have to remember, our ace uh, research team has come up with the fact that Crabtree is the past winner of the Arkansas State wild cow milking championship that's got to give you some kind of strength that's a tough sport we go to Freddie's scorecard burbick handily in front 20 to 17 a two-point round i guess in round one for trevor burbick and we're in round three these are heavyweight scheduled for 10 from the diplomat hotel in hollywood florida crabtree in the right burbick in the black trunks the mystery good left hand by bobby crabtree he finds a place for it once again on Burbick's jaw. The mystery on Crabtree has that nose of his so straight after all these thundering beatings he's taken. 
That wild cow milking must build some stamina and some tough skin, too. Bobby Crabtree, a brawler, and he's given Trevor Burbick all he wants now as he answered back with that one haymaker from the skies. Trevor will lose interest if he doesn't get this guy out of there in a hurry and let him get brave, and that's what's happening with Crabtree. No end of guts on the part of Crabtree. He, he slipped just then as he went to throw a punch and it didn't have any effect. And Did to Crabtree. his credit, he's taken the fight to Trevor Burbick in round three. Oh, terrific left hand gets hit by Crabtree. And Burbick, oh, good shot underneath by Burbick. Found a solution to that lead left. Yeah. <laughs> That's like, hey, wait a minute, you can't keep doing that. Crabtree is southpaw, a very awkward fighter, and Trevor Burbick was known throughout his career for his awkward stuff. Had the good left hook and a rock-hard chin throughout most of his fights, even though we saw him go down three times with one blow to Mike Tyson. Well, Crabtree should definitely not get on the ropes and let Trevor Burbick pummel. He should stay out here. He's doing all right. A good body shot after the left hook missed to the head. Back, but in a little bit of a shell right now. Crabtree giving Trevor Burbick all he wants. He's on an even basis with him. Saw some blood from the nose of Bobby Crabtree. That appears to have stopped. Good job by Bo Williford in the corner. We're in the final minute of round three. The two tangled on the ropes. It's been a good one. Come on, Bobby. Come on. He's got to get off those ropes. Crabtree's got to get off the rope. Can't stay there. Perfect slow in setting up his shots, but Crabtree not giving him any reason to go with the jab and pity pat away. Now, now here's where his corner should be screaming, get off those ropes, move to the middle of the ring. That's it, move out there. Crabtree doing very well. Coming to the final moments of the third round, we're scheduled for 10 heavyweights. Which have seen Burbick let Crabtree get back into this fight. He's getting brave as we come to the close of the third round of this heavyweight matchup. Heavyweight. Set for round four. These are heavyweights Trevor Burbick, the former WBC champ for the world in the black. Bobby Crabtree giving Burbick all he wants in the white trunk. He drops to his knees and it's like a slip. Punched him while he was... Uh, it was not due to a punch. It was sort of a stag down. I mean, his his knee kind of went on him. It wasn't anything uh, because of the punch. Kind of pulled him down. And we go to Ferdy's scorecard after three rounds, and it's closer than we thought. 27-29 with Trevor Burbick leading because of that big round in the first. But he let uh, Crabtree get back into this uh, fight in the third round and actually was doing much of the leading and the punches. Trevor Burbick scored a knockdown towards the closing seconds of the first round of this fight. Bobby Crabtree answered back with a huge left hand that came right through the middle. In round two, the third round was pretty even, and here we are in round four with Burbick on the ropes. Well, you, you got it. It's an oh, whoa, shot. And that had a message to it. Why is he still standing? I mean, that almost put him out there on Collins Avenue. What a <laughs> shot. Crabtree with an anvil for a head. <laughs> Burbick pounded it with a sledgehammer there. Well, you got to give a tremendous medal to uh, Bobby Crabtree for grittiness and gutsiness. My gosh, there's no dog in this guy. He's in there trying his best. He's not folding. He's not collapsing. He's given as much as he can to Trevor Burbick. Trevor tried as hard as he can to impress. Hey, this could be the first step toward financial solvency if he looks good. Crabtree coming back. Burbick with a left hook to the body. We see Crabtree doubling up, and he has his big right hand to the head. This could be it. He's got Crabtree measured. Crabtree not fighting back at all. Bernie Soto taking a look at him as he sags on the ropes. Burbick calls a timeout, throws another punch. Trevor is trying to figure out what, what will land on this guy. <laughs> Even when it lands on the gloves, it's going through the gloves and hitting uh, Crabtree. Now, Crabtree's been knocked out by everybody in the world. Oh, three big shots in a row. They all got home to the chin of Crabtree. Comes back to the body, and this looks like the end of it. Yeah. So, Cotto, Soto, the referee, could very well stop this fight. Crabtree hasn't thrown a shot. It's 15, 16 unanswered blows. Burbick looks to the referee. We're in the closing second of round four, and you'd make a case for stopping it. Yeah, th this is no contest here. But as long as he fights back, 
as long as he throws something, Soto stands. Shot over the head, misses, and Crabtree tries to throw something to stay in this fight. Here's a guy that's been on the ropes for two and a half minutes, taking a pounding. Short right hand to the chin, the end of round four. And Trevor Burbick reassumes command. We'll go back to the corner of Bobby Crabtree and see if he's got anything left. You all right? Yeah. If you do it again, I'm stopping the fight. God damn it, that's crazy. You got a box on this guy. You got a box. You got a box. He's trying to wing with him. You got a box. 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 Crabtree he goes right through the glove at effect and every once in a while when he's tired of doing that he hits his side which then brings the gloves down more pounding now you got to say that he's got some kind of chin as Bobby Crabtree I'm just wondering how everybody else knocked him out because Burbick can punch and he has not moved him hey, you see Trevor Burbick poised to throw the right hand hasn't been able to solve this guy in terms of Putting him away, but he certainly took control of that fight in round four. Crabtree, a pretty creditable showing for a guy with no footwork, no jab to speak of, and, and no record to speak of. <laughs> I didn't want to be the one that said it. What, what, he, what he's got is heart. And uh, boy, uh, he has taken a uh, mammoth shellacking in the fourth round. Burbick should be getting disappointed and frustrated and tired. This is round five. We are scheduled for 10. The fight that didn't figure to go the distance. Bobby Crabtree got some advice in his corner, said, listen, you got to start boxing this guy or doing something, or we're going to throw in the towel pretty soon. Well, Willifer told him since the first time, get off the ropes. As soon as you're on the ropes, jump off, because that's where he's going to kill you. See, out. That's what he's got to do. That is what he's got to do to survive. Bernie Soto in the center of the ring. He took a very on, close look at Bobby Crabtree. Gave him all the benefits of the doubt in round four because he could have very easily stopped it and not had anybody angry here in the crowd. Now, Bernie was a fighter for a long time. He likes to give fighters every advantage, but he was looking at it very okay, closely. Come on, come on. on the ropes once again, and Crabtree takes a couple of blows, comes back now, and throws that left hand. A southpaw hasn't been very effective at all with the right, but the left's gotten home a couple of times, and it is a heavy punch. Perfect big left hand, and that rocks Crabtree into the corner. Follows with the right, measures him now. This should be about the last hurrah. And that's it. Crabtree goes down. It does not look like we need to count on this one. Bernie Soto goes through the motions nonetheless, but Crabtree doesn't appear like he's getting up. Crabtree counted out in round five. Trevor Burbick, the former WBC heavyweight champion of the world, gets on track as he tries to come back and fit his way into the heavyweight mix. Good hand for Bobby Crabtree. Gave it a very game effort, and you can't take anything away from this kid in the guts department. You, you, you can't do much more than that. Two left hooks, a right hand on top of hundreds of punches that landed. I mean, hundreds must have landed on this guy. So he really took it, and uh, all credit to him. Overmatched, I think. I don't think that his uh, record uh, justifies putting him in with Trevor Burbick, but... Sit down, relax a while. Well, let's let's look at the, the final final moments of a gritty and game opponent. Crabtree taking every shot until he can't take anything else, and you know right there, it's just almost pointless to point to punch anymore. Right hand, you, you can see you wind up when a guy with the muscles like you can see on the back of Burbick winds up with a right hand. There's nobody can take that kind of punch. Nobody. So. Bobby Gra uh, Crabtree did not disgrace himself. A proud moment for him in defeat because he really went way past what you could possibly think of. So now let's go to the ring announcer. I didn't push it. My friend. Ladies and gentlemen, the time, two minutes even of the fifth round, the winner.